Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. NSCDC arrests 14 suspects for alleged adulteration of diesel. Disruption to global trade could offset positive oil impact in Nigeria. OPEC. Lawmakers urge federal government to hand over moribund refineries to IOCs. And now, the news in detail. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, has arrested 14 suspects and impounded 1,700 liters of suspected adulterated automotive gas in Akwaibom. NSCDC Commandant in Akwaibom, Mr. Abidemi Majekodumi, disclosed this yesterday while briefing newsmen in the command's exhibit yard in Uyo. According to him, the suspects were arrested between 3rd March and 4th. 14th March within Itsu and honor local councils of the state. He revealed that the activities of vandals and criminals could lead to a bleeding of Nigerian economy. He warned that the nation striving towards development could not afford to allow these kinds of things to be happening, he said. NSCDC Aquaibon Command is here because of the arrest we have made. In our custody, we have 14 suspects and we also have as exhibits four trucks laden with suspected petroleum products. In total, we have a thousand and 700 liters of AGO inside the truck. They were accosted in four different locations, three of them fall within its local council, while the fourth was arrested in honor local council of Akwaibom State. <laughs> The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has revealed that Nigeria's crude oil production fell to 1.417 million barrels per day in the month of February, compared to the 1.427 million barrels per day for the month of January. OPEC revealed this in its monthly oil markets reports, warning that disruption to global trade flows and supply shortages could offset the positive impact of increased oil prices for Nigeria. Routers survey had reported that Nigeria produced 1.46 million barrels a day in January 2022 from a monthly output target of 1,683,000 barrels per day. It revealed that Nigeria's GDP grew about 4.0% in 4Q21, which was the fifth consecutive quarter of economic expansion amid the ongoing recovery from the effects of the pandemic that dragged down the country's main economic activities. It warned that higher food costs related to geopolitical tensions could further fuel inflation. The House of Representatives at the plenary yesterday urged the federal government to hand over the Mori Bond refineries to the international oil companies IOCs operating in Nigeria and other competent private organizations with a view of resuscitating the facilities. The resolution of the lawmakers was sequel to the adoption of a motion of urgent public importance sponsored by Honorable Dangomi Awaji Abiyante. Moving the motion, Abiyante underscored the need for President Mohamed Buhari's administration to save Nigerians from recurring hardships of petroleum product scarcity across the country. He expressed concerns that the non-functioning of the refineries had resulted in payment of full subsidy, importation of bad fuel, and the resurgence of long queues at failing stations across the country, which has seriously impacted negatively on the well-being of Nigerians. <laughs> Ijo and Ndokwa youth under the ages of Ndokwa East Ijo Nation movement have protested at the degradation caused by oil exploration by Sterling Exploration and Energy Production Company Limited. 
on the coast of the river Niger. The youths who yesterday stormed the company's premises in Ndokwa East local government area of Delta State said the activities of the company left the people of the coastal communities hungry all year round. The demonstrators said the protest could continue until the company responded to their demands, led by Samuel Ebolo and Okuwa Ezechi, chairman and secretary, the youth who were drawn from Ndokwa East, Patani, Bomadi and Burut local government in Delta State as well as Ekaremo Kansu in Bayelsa State said they embarked on a peaceful protest after a 14-day ultimatum to the company to address their demands elapsed. <laughs> Environmental activists who were allegedly part of a blockade outside an oil company building in Cambridge have been arrested and charged to court. They reportedly stopped deliveries arriving on site, which is a research center for a global oil field drilling firm. Jamie Goodland, 32 years of age, of Vicarage Close, Cambridge, and Annie Hoyley, 28 years of age, of Fair Street, Cambridge, were charged with aggravated trespass. They have been granted bail and will appear at Cambridge Magistrate Court on 14th April. <music> government is planning to tap 2.2 billion dollars of the money it raised in a euro bond sale last year and target more local borrowing in 2022 to help fund subsidy on premium motor spirit the minister of finance budget and national planning ahmed zainab had said it was also gathered on tuesday that nigeria's crude oil production dropped from the 1.399 million barrels per day figure recorded in january this year to 1.250 8 million barrels per day in February. This indicated a daily crude oil production loss of 141,000 barrels in the month of February 2022, according to the latest monthly oil market report for March 2022, released by the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Speaking in Cairo, Egypt, on the sidelines of an Arab African conference, Ahmed told Reuters that the $2.2 billion which the federal government plans to tap was needed to fund subsidy following the rise in global crude oil prices. The recent spike crude oil prices triggered by the war in Ukraine had caused an increase in the cost of refined petroleum products. <music> Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. NSCDC arrests 14 suspects for alleged adulteration of diesel. Disruption to global trade could offset positive oil impacts in Nigeria. OPEC. Lawmakers urge federal government to hand over moribund refineries to IOCs. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening.